Hi guys, welcome to the Luchery Final Fantasy XIV stream. Today is September the 5th of 2015 and this is episode 7 of my weekly podcast. Today I'm going to do a little bit of rambling about the Final Fantasy XIV contest as well as upcoming job speculation and current events in my FC. Thank you for watching. If you ever have any questions or comments, please shoot me a message or uh, follow and message me on Twitch. Uh, I've added some lodestone uh, links for you guys to check out the current contest. Uh, the one has just ended and it was the transitional uh, art contest. The players had submitted some beautiful art pieces that represented their character and how they transitioned from uh, Realm Reborn to the current uh, Ishgardian area, uh, not only in their job roles and you know what their gear looks like, but also the how the mood of the story changed and uh, you know how it impacted them that way. And uh, I would highly suggest that if you really like art or uh, you just kind of want to see what the community is up to and how the story is uh, changing things for them. Uh, the current contest that's going on right now is, uh, and the voting ends tomorrow, uh, the 6th at 11 Pacific, is uh, the hairstyle contest. And there's a lot of people throwing up some uh, fantastic concepts for uh, uh, hair. <laughs> and uh, there's, there's a lot that looks similar to what we already have, but there's a few that have submitted more relaxed looks and more unique looks that will better suit uh, personal preferences and um, uh, if you are interested in voting on that make sure you go into the forums and vote on those and that pretty well sums up uh, what's going on currently in the community but uh, 3.1 is right around the corner and the the um, the, the designers have really got us uh, asking some questions here. Uh, if you guys did the rising event, you might have noticed that there was a couple NPCs that you could not interact with, but they were having their own little dialogue in the corner. And uh, they said something about white and black, so what's next, red or blue. And there's a lot of people screaming that we're finally getting red and blue mage. Now you'll have to pardon my ignorance because on on some of these comments because I do not play a lot of the other Final Fantasy uh, games. But what I do know is the red mage and blue mage have been two jobs that people have been just about begging for um, <laughs> for quite a while now, and. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Right now we have three tanks, three healers, and we have several types of DPS, but we only have two that are ranged that are not mages. We have one ranged DPS mage, and we have um, our three melee DPS, so we'll see. They they might try to fill in those gaps a little bit, but they may not. You know, they could totally go off in a different ballpark and you know what if they gave us another melee DPS who knows we'll find out <laughs> but um, there was a guy on a Facebook page that was throwing some ideas out there and a few of these I've heard before uh, and some of them I have not and um, but they're certainly new to the uh, Final Fantasy 14 uh, job lineup and I'm not posting a link to the Facebook page because it is a closed group and it really wouldn't benefit uh, you uh, having the link unless you were a member already. But the poster's name was Zion Saunders and he posted a few ideas that I think would be uh, great to see in the game. And there's some unique ideas here. Uh, one would be a boomerang class and some have likened that to a green mage where you get a little bit of distance going on but it's more DPS hit heavy. Uh, there's also something called the chocobo master that he suggested and that they would also be a DPS class. It would be known for uh, utilizing their special ability with their chocobos to uh, create a special 
a, a specialized uh, type of fighting where you could actually take your chocobo into dungeons with you and they would be able to um, kind of roll with uh, you know being supportive or sub tanky or just DPS heavy and which does sound quite similar to what Arcanists can do and summoners can do with their eggies but taking it kind of to the next level uh, Zion also suggested bringing in uh, boosts for um, for and from your gathering and uh, crafting abilities and I actually think that's a great idea because uh, as I've said before I think there's a huge segregation right now between the disciple of hand and land and the disciple of war and mage jobs and I think it would be beautiful to kind of implement some sort of hybrid that uh, enhances both of those so that's another idea. Uh, another would be the dual wielder, some sort of, of job that allows you to wield two weapons. Uh, a lot of people are saying no on this because we already have Ninja and we have Dark Knight now. Uh, and we had Gladiator a long time ago, uh, Paladin. So why would we bring in another job with more swords? And uh, would it necessarily have to be swords? Uh, it could be anything. And uh, I think there's some potential there. And the thing is, Square Enix has been really good at surprising us. I mean, look at Astrologian. It, it was different than, you know, card type jobs that people had seen before. And it's very similar to the healing jobs we have now. But yet it still had its own unique flair. So you never know. Maybe they could bring in uh, a dual wielder that they would still be very unique and separate from uh, Ninja and the other jobs. Um, and the same for Red and Blue Mage. He had suggested, you know, hey, you know, what if they did bring Red and Blue Mage in? And I really don't feel like it's my place to even talk about those two jobs because they've been talked about so much. And uh, everybody's got their idea on those. I'm just kind of waiting and seeing what they're going to do. Uh, but this was a, a really cool idea he came up with that I think would be absolutely amazing in the game and that is a witch doctor and their role would to be a magic or pet tank and uh, they would be using a voodoo doll and staff and he suggested that instead of just having like a class base or just a fresh entry into the job like we've seen in Ishgard for the machinist, astrologian, and dark knight is combining like a level 45 Arcanist and 45 Astrologian together before you can re uh, meet the requirements for becoming your Witch Doctor. So what they would do is unlike other tanks, the, they would summon voodoo dolls that would go out and basically take uh, the hits for the party while they stand back and uh, can debuff the enemy and buff their allies and I would definitely play that. That's totally up my alley. I love distance and that, that just sounds amazing. Uh, it almost sounds a lot like summoner uh, when you summon Titan Eggy so I think I, I could definitely swing with that. Uh, I would be totally okay <laughs> if uh, Square Enix decided to put in something like that. And I like this. Got a little bit of a darker side to it. It's, yeah, I'm all about that. Um, something else that Zion suggested was uh, bringing back Necromancer. Uh, having a level 30 summoner and a level 30 black mage pre prerequisite for it. And having a scythe weapon. And what the Necromancer would do is uh, have the ability to kill enemies and take their HP and MP and place it on the party. Uh, so I think that's that'd be a really cool trade-off. And uh, one final th concept that he had had, and I see some similarities between this and the Astrologian, but I think again... Square Enix could definitely make it unique in its own right is having something called a Spectrum Fighter and the Spectrum Fighter would use the power of the rainbow and its counterpart to uh, 
to fight and he suggests that they would swap between a rainbow stance and a shaded stance. The shaded stance would make them a little bit more of a heavy hitter, but the rainbow stance would make them faster. So, I don't know. It definitely sounds like something people would, could get into, and people seemed really uh, happy about it on the page, so I don't know. It's There's some cool concepts. Um, I've never heard uh, uh, the pros of uh, up at Square Enix uh, commenting or mentioning any jobs like this other than uh, the red mage blue mage thing now they've kind of hinted at so I don't know um, may maybe <laughs> maybe they maybe they will maybe they won't we'll see but uh, I guess uh, we will find out in 3.1 or beyond uh, whenever they decide to add in jobs. They've made it clear that they they are definitely open to adding more jobs. They just haven't really said when. So, uh, Meanwhile, in my FC, we are holding our own little events, and we did a shard gathering contest last week. That was really fun. We got everybody out uh, leveling botanists and miners, and this week we're out fishing, and Fishing was not my most favorite job to level last year, but I've leveled it now, like four levels in a couple of days, so this is, this is interesting, but uh, it's very relaxing, it's a change of pace, so I'm looking forward to seeing how that turns out, and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please shoot me a message, add me. Uh, post comments below uh, and I hope